uh, you, you're talking about a crowd we was funny when you walked in right before you walked in we were actually talking about the year of return uh, and it was a it was a funny conversation because because <laughs> we were like why didn't nobody else promote <laughs> that you could come back to Africa <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna give you the honest to that I'm sorry I, I, not, I mean it's a realistic it's, question but the connection between the African American or African outside of Africa and the African is totally lost. There is no connection outside of color, which in most African countries is not a thing. Like you're not black until you leave Africa. Mm. So yeah, when you're yeah, in yeah, Africa, yeah. your airway, your Fante, your Kikuyu, your Zulu, your Hausa, you're not black. It's not until you leave the confines of Africa that now you're black and now you're supposed to be unified. And that's from us thinking we're supposed to be unified together and all that, but that's not how, they are separate nations. So our perceptions of Africa is that it's one big country or one big county. Right. <laughs> We've all been. Yeah. And the reality is it's like, you know, these, the Airway, the Khan, which, the Shanti, the Kuopim, the Achim, the Fanti, the they're all separate nations <laughs> in itself. They have their own cultural thing. You can't tell the difference between them, but they can tell the difference. They speak a different language that's like if you if you live in North Carolina, you live in New Orleans. They different both speak dialect. different dialect for the most, but it's the same like, unless you airway or up north, yeah. and there's a whole other language whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but from what I understand, the the, the areas that the tribes may the inhabit, the nations yeah. may inhabit, don't respect the lines that were drawn by Europeans. Yeah. You, that I mean, we see Africa as you reach on a map. Yeah, you don't respect it because it's natural lines. You know, this it's is not how I, you know. So they did natural borders. That wasn't the case. So, for instance, where she's from in the Volta, the Volta is a home to the Airway people. The Airway people are in Ghana, Togo, and Benin. Mm -hmm. But they divided up the Volta River, uh, Afo, yeah. and then Togo. So then these nations are now divided up and there's not a big line that comes down as this. Now you have a German colonizer, a British colonizer, and a French colonizer. They're setting rules for your nation. Like, what the hell happened? And you're not even aware of what's going on. So the disconnect becomes, you know, the year return started out was to bring back diasporan, Ghanaian diasporan back to Africa. There was no consideration for it, but a few of us were in the meeting when we were having the meeting, when they were having the meeting and said, hey, <laughs> and that's why it came on so late, you know, <clears throat> so that's the reason why nobody's really inviting us back because they really don't see us as a part of, when we come there, we're black Americans, or a Bruni, yeah. is that last or a Kata, huh? a Kata, Bruni, a Kata, yeah, or Bruni or a Kata, what's that mean? <laughs> The word Akata is being, I mean, there's this whole dialogue about it being a derogatory mm -hmm. term. But oh, you're not going to offend me. Just tell but, me what it is. But to, uh, to uh, us, der I mean, derogatory? Yes. Yeah. And he says derogatory. Is it not derogatory? Like, derogatory? I'm How do you say it? <laughs> I call it derogatory. Okay. Yeah, like, okay, but bye. that might be my bye. southern girl. I don't know. Uh, derogatory. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you just How do you say derogatory? No, like derogatory. Like, you know, I think it's what I'm saying. It's not bad, son. Derogatory. Yeah, yeah. That makes me feel better about being offended. Derogatory. I want to be derogatory. Can I be that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, it's a Nigerian word that means like um, foreigner or somebody who is not from around. So let's say Black we are all, Black. yeah, kind of, no, let's, let's say we are all um, Nigerians and then somebody else who is probably um, a foreigner comes in. We want to say something, we're like the Akata person. So we all know who we are referring to. Yeah. You understand? So when you say Akata, you know, oh, is the one who is not from um, yeah. Nigeria. Okay, so could the, could Akata easily mean Black American or like someone from the Sudan? Yeah, it, it could mean somebody from, from, from a different place. But then, but then, 
That's what I'm asking. Okay, is it so particularly right now, American? Yeah, stuff? right now it's, it's used for African Americans. Okay, yeah. You understand? It's not yeah. just foreigners. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's for Well, I mean, it's are we not nuanced. foreigners? It's no, yeah, yeah, we still are. So, sure. By yeah. default. Right. <laughs> but it's nuanced. I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly. a contextual foreign. You're, you're a foreigner in the sense of. You know, Your you did not grow up here physically. Exactly. Your biological feet yeah. did not grow up in this area. Yeah. So you coming back, yeah, you know, you have a historical reference point here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I ain't seen you around these parts. Who are you, son? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you don't have a historical reference because you don't yeah. know where this reference exactly. is. Where you, you don't know wh where you actually came from. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it begins, helps you understand this concept of race that exists in the West, does not exist in other places. So you're literally... So you call you a Bruni, which means yeah. a foreigner, one who comes from the horizon or one who comes yeah. to destroy. Yeah. You know, that's what they call the white like mm -hmm. in Ghana. I walk through the market, somebody say, Hey, white man. You <laughs> 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 what you mean? Because of my